Alrighty, another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now I know it's tough out there, truck drivers. I hear one of y'all ask me, hey Andrew, man, what do you think about this year? Has it been tough for you? Well, if you want me to be honest, now y'all know I went company driving this year. I seen it was getting tough last year, so I decided to be a company driver this year. If you want to know, has it been tough for me? Absolutely not. It's been a real great year. The freight has been 110% consistent. Never had to wait for freight. Never had to wait on the load. Never had no issues with any of that. If y'all want to know, man, you know, the beginning of the year, I started off, I uh, went up to North Dakota to do water hauling. That was 16 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop running. And I don't mean 16 hours a day as in, you know, uh, like West Texas, where 16 hours a day mean you work for two hours and sit for, for, for the other 14 hours. Not nah, it was 16 straight hours of nonstop, brutal, hardcore running. I was paid by the load, so I was constantly in a rush. But the work never slowed down and never stopped. So... Everything I did up in North Dakota, there wasn't no slowdowns. Even when the snow and ice hit, work kept pushing, work kept going on. Never, I'm talking about never had to wait. I was doing water hauling, though, not frack sand. Then, of course, you know, I left North Dakota because uh, this fuel hauling job became open. Jumped in this fuel hauling truck. And, guys, there ain't no slow day with no fuel hauling. It's been 100% consistent day in, day out. Every time I come to work, I got loads. I work my 12-hour shifts. There ain't been no slow day. Not, nothing is slow. So this year, I, I don't know anything about freight being slow. I, I hear what's going on. I understand. I, I know what's going on with trucking because I hear you guys and I watch other YouTubers to see what they got going on out there in the, in the YouTube world because y'all know I, I understand driving and, and, and the Russians and leasing a truck is tough right now, but I don't have experience with that. that therefore, I got to watch other people to hear and see what's going on out there because... Let me tell y'all something. Me talking to these fuel haulers out here, none of these guys are broke. None of these guys know anything about what's going on outside of fuel hauling. They don't know the drive-ins, people out here suffering, and they ready to off themselves in the truck. A lot of people out here, you know, they don't know nothing about all that. All they know is, hey, Andrew, we've been getting $2,000 a week every week, man. I've been here 12 years. I've been here 15, 20 years. I don't know nothing about no no slow, but what I can show you is, I can show you my year to date, this year, last year, the year before that, Andrew, man, we, every year I'm a hundred thousand dollars, so, ain't nothing slow, so that, that's the, that's the side of the industry I'm on right now, but I do understand, I'm on the final product side of this oil and gas industry, now, I know if I go to the production side, the frack sand side, I understand, <laughs> It's gonna be tough. I'm gonna be crying. It ain't gonna be no work. It's gonna be it's gonna be devastation. I'll be out there hiding the protest in front of Hella Burden. About the work, about the money, about everything. So depending on what you're doing in trucking, it could be good or it could be tough. You just need to be on the right side of the industry. That's all. So this year has been gravy. It's been gravy. I've been just stacking this W2 money and uh investing investing all my money into the stock market it's not a lot of money i'm not making the most of that i've made before you know uh i'm really not happy with what i'm doing or uh, as far as a uh, company driving you know i would much rather be driving my own truck or uh, not having to work day after day after day unless it's some type of uh, high paying contract that i'm doing then i feel you know good enough to be able to work but in the future what i in the future, what I really want to do, go back to my authority, and, uh, man, I want to have, I want to be able to uh, have my authority, drive trucks on the weeks or the months that I feel like it, when I don't want to drive a truck, you know, maybe do some insurance suggesting, if I don't want to do that, maybe, I, maybe I'm, I'm certified in HVAC, I can start posting ads and, and doing service work, I want to be able to do a bunch of different things other than relying on the CDL because I know me being my age I don't have 30 years to go in trucking I'm this ain't gonna last till I'm 60 I already know that therefore you know uh, need to start preparing now okay I don't want to know what this is like when I'm 60 now if I was 50 60 years old that's totally different it, if I was 50 or, or 60 years old today 
then the only thing I would be doing is socking money up for retirement. You know, because you got another 10 years. I ain't got another 30 of this. I don't want to drive this truck for another 30 years. I'm already 10 years in. I started when I was 21 years old. I'm nine years in this damn trucker thing. And guess what? I do not want to drive a truck no more. Now, let me sell some hope. The trucking is tough. A lot of y'all been blowing my phone up. Hey, Andrew, man, look, man, uh... I understand you want to sell your equipment, Andrew, man. Y'all, 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 y'all been inquiring about it, but y'all ain't sending no offers. So when y'all, when y'all text my phone or send an email, man, make sure y'all send some offers. I may, I may let it go. You just never know. I may let it go. I may let it go. Do you got some cash? If you got some cash, hey, you know, if you really want the fifteen thousand dollar flat top, then send the offer, okay? Send the offer, and, and maybe I'll think about it. Okay, you want the classic? Fine, go ahead and take it. Even though it's other classics you can get out here, you know, other fat, flat tops you can get out here. If that's what you want, then fine, send the offer. Okay, but let me tell you one thing. You know, I was watching the uh, the uh, uh, the debates. Well, it wasn't really a debate. I was watching the Democratic, you know, convention. Then I was watching Trump. You know, I go back and forth watching both sides, but uh, uh, it's definitely looking nice and competitive. We got we got a lot of options out there, but uh, you know uh, what I will say, you know, if one particular party wins, first thing I'm probably gonna do is tell y'all where I work. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Y'all gonna know exactly where I work uh, on day one. Day one, you know where I work. Uh, I'm gonna start promoting the particular company I work at. Until they fire me, when they fire me, I'm storing my authority, I'm gone, okay? So that's what I'm going to do, because I'm starting to lose money by not being able to recruit y'all, because I know a lot of y'all trying to come off the road, come, you know, I, I understand. I done heard other YouTubers specifically name the company I work of them wanting to work here. But, but if I say that I work here, Hey look, hey look, I work at the company you've you been naming. All of a sudden they ain't gonna it ain't no good no more. They don't wanna do no fuel hauling. So I, I can't do that. I can't do that. So so you know, I, I just you know I keep quiet and I I listen. I say, man, I, some some tell me that truck driver, that you two, he wanna make a hundred K too. That Mr. Charlie's. Ooh, ooh, I don't know, man. Over here, Mr. Charlie's man, it's it's a lot it, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man, it ain't number cash truck drivers over here. People that, that 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 was all about cash and owning, uh, real fleets, you know, things like that. I I ain't never seen no the leasing people. They ain't really made it over here in this part of the industry. Not that I seen. I ain't, I I don't know anybody leased a truck and that ain't back. You know, making this hundred k. Everybody I see, they was cash owner operators. I'm just saying, just saying. But uh, <laughs> I'm just talking shit, man. Don't look. I, Kyle, it's just a joke. Let's talk about this stock market, okay? Now, 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 we all know the video went to zero. So, so what do we do now? One of y'all say, hey, Andrew, man, I didn't buy the dip. So when do I buy? I don't know when you buy, man. I'm not your financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I, look, the only thing I recommend is you buy ETFs. That's all I recommend. That's all I'm going to ever recommend. I don't know why y'all trying to make it so complicated. I don't even know why some of y'all buying the video. What is your game plan with buying the video? I already told you my game plan. I buy X amount of shares. I wait for the video to go to a thousand dollars. Okay, so if I buy two hundred shares today, okay, two hundred shares today, twenty five, thirty thousand dollars, and I wait till the video gets to a thousand a share, it may take five, ten years. Guess what? The house, the work that I did today, this year, will pay for my house. 10 years from now, even if I lose my CDL, never put another dollar in the stock market again. Now, when the video go to $1,000 a share, I don't know. I'm going to take the risk and wait the 5, 10 years. That's what I'm doing. Okay? Why am I doing that? Because I know me driving this truck, it ain't going to last no 10 to 15, 20 years. I, I know that. And I, I know that. I, I, I put more faith in the video before I put it in this damn CDL, okay? That, could, that You know, I get a ticket today and fire. Get caught on this damn AI camera, fire. 
Matter of fact, Mr. Charlie hit me up the other day. He said, hey, man, the AI camera caught you. I said, man, it didn't even go off. What'd I do? Said you were speeding down Bradley Parkway. The speed limit 55. The clock is 72. I said, man, the truck don't even go 72, Mr. Charlie. I'm going to slow it down, Mr. Charlie. I appreciate you letting me know. It's my fault. I was being unsafe. We're going to slow it down this time. But, but the truck don't go 72, so I'm assuming... I must have, I must have, it must have gained a little bit of speed going down the hill or something, Mr. Charlie. But uh, we we gonna work on that. We gonna we we gonna work on it because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a hazmat hauler, had big hazmat, big flammable gasoline. One one gallon of uh, one gallon of this uh, gasoline, they said is equal to what? Uh, uh, it was eight pounds of uh, TNT or something like that. I forgot what they said, but I carry uh, eight thousand eight hundred gallons of gasoline, but I only carry gasoline. 1% of the time. The other 99% I'm hauling diesel. So, you know, uh, you can take a match, drop it in diesel, still be alive. Strike a match, drop it in gasoline, whew, we'll never see you again.